Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mia and today I'm going to be showing you my pamper routine. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And if you like what you see, give this video a big thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that you've washed your hands or you've hand sanitized. It's very important before you touch your skin, especially right now, um, but anytime before you touch your skin that you make sure it's properly clean, cleansed. So that way we're not actually in introducing bacteria and things that can be very inconducive with a, a good healthy skin. All right, so the next thing I like to do is make sure that I drink a lot of water. Water is very important for the skin to become hydrated and to be able to turn over the cells so your skin stays nice and clear and clean and youthful looking. Also, this is what I love. First thing in the morning, I always brush my teeth and the next thing I do is I pick out a smell for the day. Well, today I really wanted something invigorating and just to keep me motivated and I found that. So I'm going to use a body spray called Grapefruit Breeze. All right, see if you can see it. Hopefully you can. It's actually by Bath and Body Works. It smells very citrusy. It actually doesn't smell like grapefruit to me. I mean, I, I can smell it, but it just smells nice and clean and ready for the day. All right, since we've already done that, we've cleansed our hand, we've got some water, and we've put the smell on to get us really moving today, I'm going to tell you a few things that you're going to need. So the first thing we're going to want to do is gather all the things that we're going to need. Um, we're going to need a good cleanser. I like the Philosophy um, Purity Made Simple. Um, it's a one-step cleanser. Can you, Hopefully you can see it there. Um, I get it from Ulta. This big container right here lasts me for roughly about a year, six months to a year, just depending on how much I use it. And um, it runs roughly about $48 to $54, somewhere around in there. I'll link it in the description box below. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a moisturizer for this. I'm just going to use the simple, it's really simple moisturizer. Um, and that one is good for combination to oily skin. Now that's what I have. So make sure whatever products that you are actually using is conducive with your skin type. Um, also too, I'm going to be using a lip scrub, which this one's going to be the Fabulips. Also, you can find it at Ulta. Um, it comes in a two set program. One is going to be a sugar scrub and one is going to be the moisturizer after that. I honestly have used that one a million times, so I used it up. Um, so I'm going to use as a second part. I also use this um, Baby Lips. It's a moisturizer. It also has SPF of 20. I really like that to help keep my lips because that's the one place that people oftentimes forget to cover. You think about your face, but do you think about your lips and your lips aging? That's important. Youthful lips stay plump. When it's not youthful, they'll actually fall flat and make you look older. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, our need, should I say, is going to be a bowl, just a regular old house bowl. You're going to need a mask. This mask, I got it from Walmart. Very inexpensive. It was roughly about $2. I use several different uh, masks, some high end, some low end, um, but I'm going to tell you, I really like this one. It does well for my skin. This one is, com this one is combination to oily. If you, hopefully you can see that. Um, but uh, again, they have a multitude of different ones. This one is the Dead Sea Mud Pack. We're going to apply it with a spatula. I got this on Amazon. Very inexpensive. Okay, guys. To get started, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to moisten our, our face and open up our pores. I'm going to do this here in a few moments off camera. But what we're going to do is um, if you have a, a facial steamer, you can use that. Or if you're getting out of the shower when your pores, you've taken a nice hot shower and opened up your pores, that'll work as well. But today for time purposes, and I don't have a facial steamer with me right this moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in a bowl and I'm going to heat it up. I'm going to dip a hot uh, or, or rag a towel and put it over my face and let it steam for roughly about three to five minutes. Once it's done that, I'm going to come back and get right into the application of the cleanser. Now that we've steamed our face for about three to five minutes, I bring a little bowl of water here so I can make sure that I can have a little extra moisture as I'm rubbing in the, uh, the products that we use, more of the cleanser than the, than the lotion. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a small pump of cleanser and this 
It does not take a lot. It's a mistake. So it takes roughly about a dime size. And I'm going to rub it on both my hands. Now when I apply this, I'm going to apply in upward strokes, uh, upward strokes and circular strokes, and I'm going to apply it down the bridge of the nose. We're going to try to avoid rubbing it downwards. Now, that being said, I oftentimes do that. That just is kind of me. Um, you may find yourself as well. It's not going to hurt you, but you just don't want to do that as a common thing that you do because gravity is pulling down on our skin, so we don't want to help it by aging it. So I'm going to rub it around. I'm going to get it in the creases of my nose, and then I'm going to rub it down the bridge of my nose, missing out. I'm just going to keep it away from the eye area because the eyes are so sensitive. I'm going to rub it around the cheeks. I'm going to moisten my hands a little bit more. Rub it really good right here. Little circular motions getting along that area. I'm going to go up from the bottom of my neck and work upwards. Anything you do to your face, you're going to want to make sure that you do to your jawline as well as your neck. But we're going to go ahead and rub it side to side here. And then do some upular circular motions at your temples and then follow down to your cheek line doing circular motions. Now that we've got this good and rubbed in, we're going to take a wet washcloth and some water that we have below us. We're going to go ahead and wipe it off the face. Now we're going to go ahead and just kind of blot it. We're just going to kind of blot it here. And then wipe it away. Now we're going to do this a couple of times. And the reason for that is, if you're anything like me, I can think that I got all the soap and then I'm going to wipe it here in just a moment and find out that I got more soap. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rinse that cloth. And we're going to go ahead and do it again. so good to have a clean face. Now the next thing in a good skincare routine is going to be to moisturize. Let me dry this up real quick. Now as I do this, I'm being very gentle to my skin. It, look, it may look a little rough on camera, but it's actually not a lot of tugging going on. Um, again, that will add more stress on our skin and cause it to age faster. Now, this is a misconception, and a lot of people do this or, or, or think this, and it's not good for your skin. A lot of people think, oh, I have oily skin or I have acne-prone skin. I don't need to hydrate it. There's a difference between oil and hydration. Oil sebaceous glands is what clogs the pores and dirt, things of that nature. That's what causes things like pee acne, and blackheads, you know, those are the things that cause the skin to be um, less sightly or what makes us feel like they're less sightly. Now, there's a difference between oil and hydration. Hydration allows the cells to plump up and look healthy. Oil actually can make a little sheen to the skin, which also helps protect it but it, it, when you have too much oil over sebaceous glands, it can actually cause things like the blackheads you may see, or you may see a, a, a acne that develops on the skin, which also could be caused by bacteria that's in the skin. So it's not necessarily caused by moisturization. It's caused by bacteria and by over sebaceous glands, pores they get clogged, those kind of things. So don't think because you have oily skin or you have acne prone skin, you're not supposed to hydrate. You are. It's just finding a, a hydration that's going to be appropriate for your skin type. Now that we've cleansed our skin, what we're going to do is we're going to add a mask. This is not something that you have to do every day. Probably not a good idea if you was to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to apply the mask roughly two, maybe three times if you've got a real need to exfoliate your skin. Um, we do that two to three times a week. I typically do it roughly about twice. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors. Now this comes in a relatively good size pack. Um, I don't need the full amount for my face. Um, and keep in mind, if you're getting ready to um, go on vacation or if you're going to have your wedding or anything of that nature, something, a special event, 
you wouldn't want to add a clarifying mask or anything of that sort because it can bring out some some acne um, it's clearing out the skin but again you don't want to do that you know because within about two to three days you might see that you have a little um, breakouts so we don't want to do that so I put some into a clean bowl and I'm going to take my spatula I'm going to dip it in a little water I'm going to smooth it out to where I can get it up on my spatula I'm going to scoop a little bit and then I'm going to actually stay away from the eyes and away from the creases of the nose those are tender and also the creases of the, of the lips so I'm going to take it in an upward motion and we're going to start applying the mask I want to make sure that I also get underneath the chin and the decollete or the neck. And what I keep doing as it gets kind of clumpy or hard to spread, it gets hard to spread. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, dip it in a little bit of water. It helps kind of smooth it out. I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> well, that's funny. I said I got it cheap, and I can see why it was cheap. My spatula broke. So, what we're going to do is we're going to still apply this with our hands. All right, so I'm going to do a circular motion. And to be honest, it's a little bit easier when you're trying to do it on yourself. It's great when you have a client. But I'm going to apply it, keeping away from the eye area. Now this one is not one of the peel masks, this is a mud mask, so it's going to harden and I'm going to wipe it off. This is not the kind that's going to pull every hair and everything out of your skin that can take your breath away, things of that nature. Now I eventually will show you one of those. Yeah, that's dedication. I hear them things hurt. I've used a few, but they did not hurt as bad as the charcoal mask, which I am curious about. So we will see how that works. All right, so we're getting it. We're not getting the creases of our mouth. Now, this one's not too drying, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit in the creases of my nose. Oftentimes, with some masks, I stay away from there. But this one, I'm actually needing some cleansing. And I really love the way this smells, too. Nice and clean. Now, I got my little cat ears going on because I feel like everybody needs a little bit of sparkle in their life. All right. We are almost done. Let's go ahead and get some down here. Alright, we're just going to run it in, cut a water. Now you can make this thick as you want it. You just want to make sure you have a good coat. I get away from that mouth. right now if you'll look I don't have much eyebrows but if you have a good set of eyebrows I wouldn't probably put it in it I've got some hormonal issues so it likes to go away now what I'm gonna do anywhere I don't want to be touched I'm gonna go back with my rag and I am going to wipe it out so if you got some eyebrows going on here just go ahead and wipe it out of your eyebrows it's a clean area. It's, it wipes pretty easy and you want to do this before it hardens. All right, now this, I'm going to clean up right here. This takes roughly about 10 minutes to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow it to dry and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the next routine. Okay, so now that it's actually dried, and you can tell that by your face feeling very tight, very hard to smell, we give horrible smells during this. Um, once it's dry, we're going to go ahead and just simply remove this one by um, taking that same rag, nice and warm, and we're going to just kind of wipe it off your skin. Again, circular motions, trying to go upwards. And this one actually comes off pretty easy. Now my skin gets super red anytime I wipe it, so um, that's what you're going to see. Mm. 
nice warm water. Circular motions, downward strokes to avoid. Off that. Gonna rinse my rag. Now, I will tell you, um, the moisturizer I'm using today, I do like it, and it's a very um, good price, and it, it works It works pretty well, but I prefer the moisturizer that they have from IT Cosmetics. You can also get it from Ulta. I just tend to be out, and with everything that's going on right now, of course, I can't get any. Now, the one thing I will tell you is most of this is gone. See a little bit around my mouth. I might have a little bit over here. Just like even once it's done, I like to go ahead and just gently wipe over to make sure all the residue is off. That's important. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to take my little handy dandy towel and I'm going to blot, blot my face gently around the eyes. Now we're going to get into the moisturizing. All right, so we have cleaned our skin very well. We have also done a mask, which will help draw out the impurities. And we've gently exfoliated in, in circular motions using the, the rag, which that's one thing that you don't realize you do. You can do exfoliation. You do not want to press hard. You're not trying to sandblast your skin away. You're just gently trying to allow the skin that's already dead to exfoliate and come off the skin. Now. I'm going to be putting on makeup after this, and this is very important, whether it be makeup, whether it be just you're going to bed at night. It's really good to do these things right before bed because it soaks in your skin and you don't actually wipe it off. Um, oftentimes, we put our cell phones up there, super dirty, nasty buggers that will actually cause a, a lot of yuck on our skin. So what you want to do is you're going to hydrate your skin at this point. Again, remember, if you have acne prone skin, oily skin, you still need to hydrate. And especially if you have dry skin, you're going to want to hydrate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this simple, sensitive skin um, replenishing rich moisturizing cream. It's supposed to last up to 12 hours. It's pretty good. It's, it's, a, it's a good moisturizer for a lesser cost. It only cost, a, a, I want to say it was like $6. Um, and you can get it at Walmart. Um, you could probably get it online as well. Again, I like, I really, really like It Cosmetics products. Um, can't get that, so we're going to use this. Also, too, I like a good under eye serum. That I didn't mention earlier because I completely forgot and I apologize. I promise you I will not be perfect, but I promise to be real. Um, and I can be real uh, forgetful sometimes. But um, I, I have an under eye cream. It's Kylie Jenner's under eye cream. Now I will tell you, it's not my favorite. It is okay. Um, I would probably not repurchase this, but I do want an eye, under eye cream and I'm out of everything that I use. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this today. So we'll use these two creams to moisturize. Now I like to start with moisturizing under my eye. So this comes with a little, like come honestly, similar to the shape of a doe foot and it's slightly tinted. I'm just putting a little bit up underneath my eye, which I'm going to, it looks like I'm tugging. I just have some loose skin there. I'm not actually going really light. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pinky because your pinky is your, your most gentle. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tap it around my eye. We just want some hydration up underneath here. Now, I was just trying this product because somebody had recommended it. I looked at the ingredients and I did notice it's not some that I would have 
started out by using because I seen I do believe there was alcohol in it. And I, don't, I don't like I don't like to use any eye products or I prefer to try to stay away from alcohol on my skin because of course what does alcohol do? It dries the skin. But we're gonna go ahead and put this anyhow. I'm gonna keep trying it because you never know, right? So I'm just gently rubbing. Now, again, typically I like to use the pinky. And so if I use any other finger, I'm just gently doing a little bit of a wipe. Now, the reason I'm using my, my other fingers right now is because they're hotter, which helps melt the product into my skin. For some reasons, my pinky out is feeling like ice, <laughs> which again, ice is very good around the eyes because it does help with um, swelling, but I wanted the product to melt into my skin, and so I used a little bit hotter of my fingers. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a small amount of um, moisturizer and we're going to put it on our face. We don't need to go crazy with moisturizer. I'm just going to take and do a little tea things right here. We're going to do, because my cheeks, it's so strange because my cheeks will get very dry right here. But then the T-zone the right here gets very oily. So I, I don't really know, but now I still moisturize the T-zone. Again, oil does not mean you don't need to hydrate. I'll make sure that I hydrate around the creases of my nose and my mouth where my skin is nice and fresh. Now, as you're doing all of these things, you're gonna notice that your skin should have a little bit of pink, which is really good. That means that blood is coming to the surface. When I, I'm not saying you're beating up your skin, I'm just saying it's causing your skin to actually get flushed, and that's a good thing. That's where when there's a lot of oxygen that's coming to the surface and to the skin. So that will actually give us a more youthful appearance. Helps plump it up. Plump, plump, plump it up. All right, now that everything's dry, looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my lips. Now let me get this over here. Now you can, uh, another thing that you can use this or apply this with is a toothbrush. Um, if you don't have lip scrub, you can use a toothbrush as well and do small circular motions so that way, um, so that way you can rush the blood to your lips, which also helps plump it up. Now, I love the smell and even the taste of this. Now, I just take a small amount. Usually, you can get, you should get a Q-tip. It's more hygienic. I'm not going to lie. This time, I'm just going to go ahead and roll with my finger. And you're going to apply it on your lips. So, a small amount. It's actually probably more than I needed. Yeah. Apply it to your lips. Okay. And once they're applied, I'm going to wipe the excess off. Now you're going to do small circular motions with a dry finger. Alright, you can get a top lip. And just kind of melt. See the color that's coming to my lips? That cuts the circulations and improving. All right, now that we've gotten that, we've scrubbed. You can do more. Um, don't be too aggressive on it though, because you're you're not trying to hurt your lips. You're trying to heal your lips, and this is just removing some of the external t um, external skin that's dried up. You need to take it and you just rub it around. Just rubbing it. Now you can leave that mask on for three to five minutes, or you can even put it on and walk around with it. It's not going to hurt anything. So we've got our lips good and exfoliated. Now you want to make sure that you hydrate them because you just basically stripped off the outer a, a little bit of the outer skin 
and we want to protect them with a nice moisturizing chapstick or conditioner and again bring your lips look nice and shiny and plump and your skin is good to go now again some of the key points that you want to remember is that you want to stay hydrated very well hydrated very important will help you look youthful the other thing is to make sure you use a good cleanser one that's suited for your type of skin and then the next and the, the last thing the major thing is to make sure that you have a good hydrator um, one that's also suited for your skin type and remember it is important to hydrate to, to so your skin stays supple and youthful looking now there's several other steps that you can add to this to even get better results such as exfoliations of the mask that we did there's tools that they have that helps do exfoliation all the time um, there's a lot of brushes out there high-end and low-end you know good um, there's some really reasonable ones, and we'll probably do a tutorial on some of those at a later date um, that are good to exfoliate your skin and actually keep it clean of debris and actually clear acne and clogged pores, things of that nature. Um, we're also going to be using a device in a very soon tutorial that I did get online that I'm very excited to use. It is called the Haley Care ultrasonic skin care scrubber what that is going to do is going to we're going to use it for cleansing to drive it into the skin and pull out impurities we're going to use it for the moisturization using all the same products that we just used and as well as we're going to do it to tighten and tone the skin so i'm really excited excited about that one all right guys so that's going to be all for our video today if you like what you see go ahead and hit the thumbs up and also hit the subscribe and the bell so you get a notification anytime i upload i hope you guys enjoyed it and stay safe out there